I'm Elisa McFarland. I'm the Iowa Field Manager for Soil Health Partnership. As a field manager with the Soil Health Partnership, it's my job to work with the farmers to implement the research on their farm that they're interested in. I work with them to come up with a plan that meets what their goals are for achieving soil health, and then also what works with their own management strategy. And I also plan events and network with the other efforts throughout Iowa to improve soil health and water quality. I think soil health is really important to agriculture because it's it's the new new frontier in agriculture. It's a it's something that we can learn a lot more about that we haven't known previously. We've been testing soil chemistry and soil nutrients for a long time, but there's a lot more going on in soil that we haven't been able to test before and that we haven't been able to understand in the context of farm management strategies. Soil Health Partnership in Iowa has a lot of different practices that we're testing um, depending on where we're at in the state and what the specific farmer is interested in. Um, a lot of that depends on soil type or um, other enterprises on the farm um, such as livestock. And so um, some of those would include things like cover crops but also uh, reduced tillage and nutrient management as well. Those three areas that we have for emphasis and practices in soil health, the reduced tillage, nutrient management, and cover crops, primarily are looking at covering the soil to reduce soil erosion and that also will increase infiltration by, by having that, that protective layer on the soil. And then over time, things like cover crops and reduced tillage, not breaking up those aggregates and you know, providing more root channels through the soil uh, will increase the aggregate stability of the soil, which will increase the water holding capacity and the infiltration. If nutrients are, are lost from farm fields, then they can enter the environment in ways that we would we would not want to see and, and can cause issues downstream. And so no farmer wants to see nutrients leaving their field and they want to keep them um, on their farm for environmental reasons, but also for economic reasons as well. As a field manager for Soil Health Partnership, one of the things that motivates me most is my love of soil science. I went to school for it. Uh, it's one of the things that I loved about growing up on a farm was, was seeing all of our different soil types in our fields and, and learning about um, managing the fields. And as I work with the Soil Health Partnership, I get to see soils throughout the state and understand the different management practices that, that farmers use to, to work with those soils and make them the best that they can be for, for their production. So those are kind of the questions that were identified, um, which led to the formation of the Soil Health Partnership and the identification of these four goals.